So speaking about this early detection, just hypothetically, if you had lived in our household with me five or ten years ago, what would have been an early indication, an early warning sign that I'm about to develop this condition? Well, this is where a lot of attention is directed today because we feel that uh, the future the, uh, of, of treating conditions like Parkinson's will be in its earlier and preclinical detection. And it turns out there are some clues. For example, patients with Parkinson's disease often have a marked loss of their sense of smell. And that loss of smell can occur many years before they develop motor symptoms. Patients can have something called REM sleep behavior disorder. This is a uh, condition of sleep where patients will act out their dreams and flail at night and scream and you know, bed partners will often complain. Well, it turns out that you know, patients may have that condition 10 years before they develop the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Now, not every patient who has that sleep disorder is going to get Parkinson's, but it's a clue. It's, a, it's an indication that that patient may be at risk. Simple things like constipation, depression, seem to occur more readily in patients with Parkinson's before they develop Parkinson's than in other patient populations. So all these things may give us a clue as to a patient who's at risk for developing Parkinson's disease. Why is that important? Because ultimately, those are the individuals that we are going to want to intervene in. We're going to want to find therapies that can slow the progression of Parkinson's, and we're going to start in individuals before they develop motor symptoms. So it's a very interesting time in the development of new therapies and new approaches to conditions like yours.